I feel you could be distancing yourself from a situation that you feel could be lost. I feel you think you may have overinvested in something or someone who didn't deserve your time or attention. I feel this energy is coming out as the Page of Pentacles, someone who can't offer you much. There's a lack of teamwork when dealing with this energy. They have a disregard for affairs of the heart. This energy is coming out in the reverse. This is the emperor energy who is in the reverse. This is someone who is very excessive with control, very rigid energy who is possibly even dominating. This is someone who tried to get away with something strategically here with the five of swords. Here with the, wow, seven of swords energy as well as the ten of swords energy someone took a chance on breaking your heart or doing something very destructive when it comes to you i feel this energy has very little to offer and this is why they try to get away with something strategically this is betrayal and deceit here with the seven of swords energy someone was trying to deceive you in some type of way which caused some type of heartbreak through their betrayals lies and have truths this energy is coming out as very low vibrational energy here. Someone who is causing a lot of chaos as well as sabotage within a relationship. I feel this is self-imposed because of their destructive nectar. Page of, wow. This page of swords is definitely coming out in a strange way. We have the two of cups energy here so this is letting me know that this energy didn't take you seriously this is why they did something very drastic or toxic when it comes to this relationship ace of cups is in the reverse something is blocked because of their repressed emotions or intentions this is the full card in the reverse this is someone who is very naive when it comes to affairs of the heart this is due to a breakup or some type of separation where there should have been a celebration but the see the four of swords is well the four of wands is coming out in the reverse this is someone who broke the communication or there's a breakdown in communication this is someone who is in transition of being very foolish the chariot is also in the reverse as well as the magician card we also have the king of cups in the reverse this is someone who is holding back their intentions intentionally this is someone who is emotionally manipulative moody and also immature when it comes to emotions and affairs of the heart is coming out over the two of cups energy someone not taking you seriously and binding themselves through sabotage here with the chariot in the reverse this is someone who lacks control and direction very aggressive when it comes to defending their actions this energy is very impulsive king of wands the king of wands in the reverse is someone who is very haste ruthless has high expectations for others but not for themselves ace of pentacles is in the reverse there was no reward when dealing with this energy only lessons to be learned i also feel here with the ace of pentacles someone lost an opportunity with you you were very giving someone lost that opportunity page of cups in the reverse someone lost that opportunity because they wanted public recognition i feel like this energy wanted public recognition just to boost their ego this energy gave into some type of illusion i feel this is someone who's been sitting in this space for a very long time giving into options never changing this energy is coming out as the king of cups in the reverse well the knight of cups in the reverse someone who is unrealistic still still not seeing something from a realistic state of mind this this energy didn't expect you to move on or find yourself or learn some type of lesson when dealing with them this energy gave into options and i feel it caused many of you many of you to accept something Accept something when it comes to someone who is completely lawless. The page of swords is coming out in the reverse. This energy is all talk, no walk. And many of you have become bored with someone being isolated or guarded with you. I feel something is misaligned when it comes to a celebration or a connection with someone who is not seeing you or what you have given for what it is. This energy is coming out as a manipulative energy someone who has poor planning and still not giving in to their talents hmm. i feel like this was a, a rocky road a long journey when dealing with this energy there's a lot of compromise but this energy failed to see something for what it was 
Yeah, so this energy is definitely unfair to an empress energy. This energy has turned you upside down or caused a lot of disappointment. I feel this energy has caused you to put yourself first while they're still stuck in the past, stuck in some type of false way of being, or just following the crowd. I feel this energy fell into some type of situation. They're always giving into their weaknesses. Someone has been sitting in this energy for a very long time. They find it very hard to change, so they don't. I feel you compromise with this energy in so many ways, but they cause you to be suspicious. Many of you feel like they'll never change. Queen of Swords, you have to clear something away. This is someone who was looking for perfection, all talk, no walk. This energy was searching for something and never found it. This is why there is no celebration. This energy wanted public recognition here with the Six of Swords energy. But the Page of Cups is letting me know they're too emotionally unavailable to have anything, to get anything. But I feel they're about to step into a space of judgment for it. There is no rebirth. <sighs> wow. Only someone paying the piper. Judgment. Someone is going through judgment. There's a lot of consequences going on throughout their life. And I also feel anyone who is connected to this energy is also receiving harsh consequences. There's a lot dealing with this energy because there's no recovery here. There's no recovery here with the Five of Pentacles energy here, Queen of Cups. You have done all that you can. And you're wanting to be more emotionally secure within a situation because many of you do not feel safe in their hands. Queen of Swords energy is letting me know you have to think clearly or quickly to clear something away. There's a lot of effort put into releasing the pain. We have the Three of Swords energy in the reverse. This was a painful separation. I feel like this was a painful separation where you had to think quickly when it comes to this confusion, this chaos, this lack of clarity. I feel it also caused something to have no closure here with the world card in reverse. There's a lack of completion, which only led to a harsh, painful ending. I feel there was no change, no transition. Many of you are saddened by this, but I feel it was a necessary transition, a rite of passage. So, as I said before, this was a lesson for you, dealing with someone like this. But I feel this energy is still bound, still trapped to their toxic ways. They're a lesson for a lot of energies. They're not the first nor the last that they've ever heard. I feel this is someone who is dissatisfied, very materialistic, greedy, selfish energy taking too much giving less than is given but i also feel here with the will of fortune in the reverse this energy is about to step into a lot of bad luck because of their choices they're about to receive some setbacks here with the page of wands page of wands energy attached to the hierophant in the reverse this is someone who should know better but they're not doing better causing a lot of restrictions self-imposed and strict restrictions I feel this is someone who's very comfortable with challenging the status quo. Wow. I feel this energy always challenging the status quo has caused a lot of tower moments. If this energy has not already stepped into a disaster or a very trying situation, they're about to. I feel this is sudden change here with the tower, tower energy. This is upheavals. That should bring in some type of revelation, but this energy is too comfortable still sitting in this space. Wow. But I feel they're about to come to a harsh decision or a revelation. There's a lot of debt. This energy has a lot of debt, and they could be dealing with a situation that is one-sided because they lack long-term vision. Hmm. But I feel justice is about to be served within a situation that is not fair. Not fair at all. This energy wasn't fair when they broke your heart or tarnished this situation. They were not being real about who they truly were. I feel this caused a lot of disharmony within a love situation. We have the lover's card in the reverse as well as the hierophant. So someone didn't want to see. They didn't want to give in. Hmm. Now, there's a missed opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You're no longer giving. You're no longer compromising. Here with the... Hmm, this is the Eight of Wands. Someone wants to 
move quickly, but there's a lot of delays here. They're frustrated about that. Something is being held off. Happiness. Because they're always trying to manipulate something. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot of illusions and not seeing life for what it is, but also feel like it's about to bring a lot of competition, conflict, and tension their way. I feel there's a lot of disagreements going on in their current energy where there's an imbalance because they lack long-term view. Lacking foresight has caused a lot of delays. This energy sees you as someone who is warm, vibrant, someone who knows them deeply, someone didn't want to get so connected or bound to you but they are and they're wanting you to be bound emotionally too hmm. but i feel there's haste when giving into this energy because it would only be a sacrifice i feel it would only be a sacrifice dealing with this energy because it seems they're too comfortable to change or see a truth which is only leaving them bound or attached to some very toxic ways that's going to leave them nowhere this is someone who thought that they were going to get away with something. Or they thought that you were going to compromise it within the situation. This energy wanted you to be bound, strapped, tied down. Here with the Eight of Swords energy here. Someone wanted you to be bound to them. Regardless of what they do. Who they choose to be. Someone wanted you to be an empress in the reverse. But I feel this energy was only a fool. I feel this energy was only a fool trying to do something when it comes to you strategically because this energy is now defeated. This energy feels defeated because you're unbothered or you have created a lot of change in your life while they're still stagnated. Someone is wanting to work with you again. Someone is wanting to circle the block, come back around, but I feel you don't see that as being very profitable or enticing. This is not something you would like to do again. Especially if this energy is still the king of wands in the reverse or still sitting in low vibrational energy of someone who is clearly unhealed. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here? What are the messages here for the collective? So due to this person always trying to be strategic with you or the fact that they're always discarding your energy, your light, your love, giving zero fucks about life, you have taken a stand, taken a stand back, you're suspicious of their energy or you're no longer dealing with them at all. Someone feels like you're hard to read. This energy feels like you're avoiding them. And rightfully so, because this energy is still connected to a sneaky link, someone who was just supposed to be temporary. I feel like something's about to come out. Someone's about to spill the tea. It's coming out as tea time. Someone is wanting to spill the tea about this energy. This could be a third party who wants to reach out to you. This third party is realizing they are getting the same energy you once did. Because this energy is now feeling salty and bound. So this third party is definitely bound. Bound in the way that they wanted you to be bound. And they're salty about it. For many of you, you could care less on what they're going through. And for some of you, you feel like they are getting what they deserve. For many of you, you have no hate in your heart. You wish the best for this energy, but something had to change because they're always sitting in a space of heart fog. Mixed emotions when it comes to you. This is someone who knows they care. They didn't want to, but they know they wronged you. This energy knows they wronged you, but I feel what's very ironic about it is that they're the ones being salty, jealous, for causing all the drama. I feel for some of you, they may have spread some type of rumor or there's some type of rumor going on about them. And this is another reason why you're not dealing with it. Not today. This is someone who has made some very harsh choices. They're sitting in this energy believing they have got over or they're getting over, but they're only making more karma or more consequences for themselves i feel like for many of you you're not dealing with this energy while they're in this space it's split field i feel there's a lot of distance even if you're still in this person's energy they're emotionally detached yet they're still trolling i feel someone's about to put something on blast this energy threw away something with you for dirty money and a key player 
I feel this is someone who flaked out on you, hot and cold energy, where someone has put something on pause intentionally. I feel someone left you out or didn't they didn't respond. They thought that you would be swept up in emotion or finding some type of clarity. Someone wanted you to be swept up in your emotions or the history of this relationship. And this is why they're always bullshitting you. Lying. And not telling the truth. I feel like this energy thought that you were going to compromise or see the brighter side of things. But I feel you are not in this for the long haul. If they choose not to tell the truth. And be authentic. Someone is needing to be authentic with no filter. Yet, they feel blacked, blocked out. And they're very frustrated about that. Because they do still want to hook up with you. Someone still wants to see you. Someone still wants to be around you. But I feel the choices they have made has caused some type of se separation. Wow. This energy is definitely living beyond their means. Or they're with someone who is just materialistic or using them. This energy is not being authentic about what they're going through. They're still wearing a mask and still not being honest about how they feel or what they're doing. I feel this energy is not keeping it real. This energy is not being transparent about their intentions. Even though they know they screwed this up by ghosting you, this energy is still breadcrumbing. I feel this energy is breadcrumbing you just to play some type of mind game. It's all part of the, the plan. I feel like them moving on or pretending to move on is only a space of manipulation. This energy is still dealing with some toxic ways of being. I also feel these influences keep them in a spotlight that they don't want to be in. Wow. This energy is also giving very little effort to you. Because they're not ready to commit. So I feel like this energy is wanting to send some type of distress call. SOS. Something could be urgent. Because they're going through some type of struggle. This energy is going through a struggle that is coming out as a frustrating situation. A trying time. A rough patch. Where they're trying to tiptoe around the truth. Someone is not wanting you to know how hard things really are. Because they want you to believe that they're comfortable or satisfied with the choices that they have made when in fact they know they know they screwed up I feel this energy knows they screwed up this is why they're salty this is why they're not keeping it real because they don't want you to know more than you need to I feel this energy is breadcrumbing you because they don't know how much you know but in so many ways they know that you have receipts you have evidence you have evidence evidence of them not keeping it real or being an imposter, a fraud, faking it, faking it just to please others. This energy has become a brick wall. I feel like you have to take a high road in this situation, causing something to flatline, and they're shocked. This is a real big plot twist, because as I said before, some room really thought that you would not be bothered, you would not change. Your emotions for them would never change. But I feel this energy thought that you would be bound or chained to this. Yet I sense for many of you, you're not even bothered. I feel like this energy wanted you to be codependent. Someone wanted you to have a trauma bond with them. Wow. Someone didn't think you were going to bounce back. Because they're not being an adult about a situation or seeing things from a realistic state of mind. Someone thought that you would be attached to this toxic connection, wanting to prove yourself by any means. This energy is repeating abusive cycles. But I feel in so many ways, this energy pushed you to your limit. This is a breaking point for someone who thought you wouldn't bounce back, who thought that you would be chained to this trauma bond. Yet I feel this energy was shocked. When you did not give in to the mind game. And you're not sorry about it. As I said before you guys. You have to move quickly when dealing with this situation. This energy thought that you would be shocked. Or bound. Or 
wanting to prove yourself within this situation. But I feel many of you had to move on, step back, and bounce back. Because this energy is coming out as a people pleaser wanting to be pleased. So I feel this energy is dealing with some self-doubt. But they're too comfortable to change. This energy is always dodging or avoiding some type of serious conversation with you. Because they lack maturity or a sense of well-being when it comes to affairs of the heart. So what I'm getting here is this is someone who is used to you compromising. This energy is used to you compromising and letting them get away with things because I sense in so many ways they feel like you would have always been there. You were going to stick around regardless. I feel this energy is shocked because you're no longer compromising or catering to them, especially since you put your foot down. As I sense, this energy expected blind loyalty and even unconditional acceptance. Yet I sense the lack of respect has definitely reached its limits. I feel this energy is doubting something, doubting what you know, the evidence. But I sense regardless of what you know, they are guilty as charged. This energy is guilty of what you suspect of them. Someone is guilty and they know it. But they just don't know how much you know. Because for many of you, I sense you're just tired of talking or repeating yourself. As it seems, without trust and respect, there's no reason to even continue this. Yet this energy is going to try. Because as of lately, their actions still hasn't spoken louder than their disrespect, causing many of you to be the bigger person within a situation, dodging a bullet. Many of you have already lost interest because this energy is still dealing with outside influences or just still trying to manipulate or have some type of scare tactics, mind games with you. Not realizing keeping it real is the only way through this. I feel this energy is still keeping tabs on you. But something is about to be said out loud. Wow. Someone's very shocked that you're not bonded to them. They're wanting to send out some type of SOS. They're wanting your attention. Yet for many of you, they're not getting it. This is why they're salty. This is why they are beside themselves trying to keep tabs on you. Wanting to slide through and have some type of conversation. Wanting to butter you up and build a bridge or build a gap bridging a gap this energy is still not doing something from an authentic space because i feel when dealing with this energy nothing is what it seems this energy is sugarcoating things wow trying to alter their appearance alter something when it comes to what they're trying to put out but i feel this energy is all talk meaningless words empty promises i feel this energy is coming out as a player someone who is wanting to send you a text or some type of phone call but i feel this energy is still being extra still not being authentic and very shocked at the fact that you have bounced back i feel for many of you you could be in a space where you're completely unbothered and for others you're still working through this you see the red flags or their savage ways because in so many ways if this energy is trying to reach out it's because they're sitting in a very desperate space and their resources are low someone is wanting you to take this ride again where there's a lot of highs and lows this is a roller coaster of someone who is off and on hot and cold and for many of you you're fed up with this you're tired of talking and you're no longer listening to their lies you're over it frustrated you're not having it i feel a lot of things that they have done have only left you shaking your head disappointed disappointed in what they've taken you through wow i feel like this energy is trying to backtrack someone is going back on something when it comes to breaking your heart or going beyond the limit because something may be beyond repair you, you look at this energy as a follower someone who is sitting in the energy of a sheep because they're easily misled also dealing with outside energies this energy is numbing the pain by going into a lot of things doing a lot when it comes to numbing their pain this energy is self-medicating 
doing things from a very petty space, giving into their weaknesses, and it's caused many of you to not even know who this is anymore. Because this energy is petty and quick to get away. Now this energy could be on a rebound when it comes to an outside party or someone who they believe is being petty with them, but I feel they're still thirsty. Their resources are low. And I feel this energy could be dealing with a narcissist or is a narcissist who is going through a lot of setbacks because of their make-believe way of thinking. The fact that they were throwing shade because the vibe has changed when dealing with someone who is very toxic. Something is definitely put on pause. There's a key player here. There's also dirty money. Someone is doing something for money. This could also be the energy of someone doing something illegally. That is about to be put on blast. Someone is in a friend zone or not a friend at all. Someone definitely broke the camel's back by making these choices against you. Wow. You're not chained to this. I feel for many of you, you're not letting this energy put you in a trauma bond. You're not sorry about it. This energy is shocked because they haven't had a lucky break with you. They're still struggling. Wanting to send out a message of distress, this energy regrets putting you on the back burner, flexing, not chilling, not sitting and being satisfied. This energy changed the vibe. Now there's time apart. This energy is trying to low-key send some type of subliminals. Wow. Yeah, this energy is going through a lot. They are not talking about it. If this energy reaches out, they're going to lie about their life being great or pretending to be better off better off without you but they're just saucing you up this energy is definitely very toxic and they're going through some type of repo they're having difficulty playing something or something is being repossessed and they're being stubborn about it <laughs> someone is being stubborn stubborn about what they're losing and this energy is wanting to reach out to you to help save something or save self Regardless of the fact, this energy is desperate because of their resources. They're getting low. This energy's resources or the people that they're around, they're bored with it. They're looking for something else. Never satisfied, this energy is coming out as someone who is very complex or is making something way more difficult than it needs to be. I feel this energy is coming out as a, a follower or a sheep because they are always giving into their weaknesses. This energy is coming out as a walking red flag. I feel this energy thought that you were going to compromise or let them back in, but you're not letting something go. This energy wants you to cater to their bad ways or accept something, but I feel for many of you, you're disappointed and you're fed up. This energy feels like they can just butter you up. They can just say a couple of things to get your attention or to get you to let your guard down. But I feel many things about you have changed, especially after dealing with this player. Someone who is playing the field or always seeking other options. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like this is someone who says all the right things, then end up doing the complete opposite. Yet I sense... They play these games with the hopes of making you feel their safe space. Listening to what you need or want and then partially giving it to you only to switch up in the end. <sighs> yeah. This energy has a very low self-worth. This is why they can't understand you standing still or not giving in to something. Someone thought that they had you all figured out. Yeah, this energy is coming out as an ex or someone you once held in high honor, but this energy was always wearing a mask with you. You just got tired of it. This energy is coming out as someone who's afraid, still dealing with their self-worth, insecurities, and this is why they can't give themselves fully to a commitment. They're always lost in their lustful ways. I feel like this energy gets bored very easily. This is why they're always creating traps for themselves, all because of their, their temptations or believing the grass is greener on the other side. I feel this energy is very impulsive and gives into their urges, their desires. They're very easily enticed, especially when it comes to 
a non-reality, their weaknesses. Sorry about that, you guys. This energy definitely given, gives in to their weaknesses because they are comfortable behind the mask. Hmm. Wow. Their commitment issues are definitely stemming from their self-worth. I feel this energy is always taking the bite of the apple because they feel like you will always give in or accept them back or over time you'll be burnt out from the separation but many of you feel like they need some type of intervention even some therapy because this energy is going through a lot and takes others to the same energy i feel this energy is all talk no walk and there's a lot of meaningless words empty promises connected to them or connected to the commitment this is someone who is scared and they end up running away overthinking things they're worried intimidated freaked out I feel this energy never intended to truly fall for you, but they did. I feel this energy is scared because of what they feel. It's not what they're used to. Wow. This is why they're so comfortable behind the mask. This energy is comfortable behind the mask, hoping that they don't never have to really give their true emotions of what they feel. They want to come in and love bomb you. This energy wants to love bomb you, wanting to rely on the history of the relationship, but I feel this energy has a history of chasing the thrill, wasting time, arguing to have their way, wanting to, to be validated. This energy wants their freedom. This is why they put no effort into an apology. I feel there's no effort when it comes to apology because this energy is trying to control something. Hot and cold energy is someone sending weak signals and they're doing it intentionally. This is how they control the situation. This is how they trauma bond with you. This is someone who is trying to have the wires crossed here. There's a miscommunication here. Something There's some type of mix, mix up or this energy wants you to believe something was a misunderstanding. This is why they're putting in no effort. They don't want to admit the damage they've caused. This energy was banking on you being undecided. Someone was banking on you not being ready to walk away. This is why they're not putting in an effort, but no effort brings an ending. Something was inevitable, faded, because this energy is coming out as a player. Someone who has no values, no boundaries, because they're toxic, and I feel they are trying to control things by being toxic, selfish, and ignoring the truth. This energy is very angry inside. I don't know if that is projected onto you or not, but I feel they are very defensive about their play ways. This energy is toxic, unavailable, still trying to control situations, and in the end always comes back, trying to love bomb you or pretend nothing ever happened at all. I feel this energy is dealing with a lot of self-worth issues. This energy has a history of trying to control or being hot and cold or just pretending something was a misunderstanding. But I feel for many of you, you know, this was not a misunderstanding. You're standing on facts and they know it. As I said before, this is someone who partially gives you what you need. Then they switch up in the end. It's always been like that. Because this is someone who wants their freedom. They like their freedom. And this is why they're always mixing signals. For many of you, there has always been some type of situation where this energy is not respecting boundaries. I feel there's also a history of this person misleading or confusing things as well. Taking the easy way out, falling into temptation, this energy is comfortable behind the mask. But I feel being comfortable behind the mask is only leaving them trapped. I feel for many of you, this energy lacks when it comes to values and boundaries, causing arguments to be free, causing arguments to create distance. This energy accuses you of things that they know that they have done that is not for everyone. But I feel this energy is misleading because of their ego. And the fact that they're sitting in a comfort zone. For many of you, this energy is sitting in a comfort zone. Still attached to harsh ways of holding back, hurting others. But I feel something is about to be final. I feel something is about to be final when it comes to third parties. Or the fact that they are always sabotaging situations. Causing delays or some type of love triangle. This energy is always giving into what they believe is their multiple options. Wow. 
I feel this energy has a pattern of sabotage, self-destructive ways, blocking their success and pushing others away. I feel like this energy is attached to these patterns of self-destructive ways, but I feel they're not doing anything about it either. They're staying trapped. Trapped in a pattern of misery. Misery. <laughs> Didn't expect that card. Trapped in a cycle of misery. They're making something final. And many of you are not going back. Causing this energy to be in a deep sense of regret. Where their karma. Their karma will be swift. I feel like this energy is stepping to, into a space where they can't go back. They can't retract. Because this karma is coming out as a storm. A storm when it comes to relationships. Or this energy is uncanny ways. But I feel this energy has made something final. Hmm. By creating, creating their own misery through their energies of insecurities and self-worth this energy has always given into weaknesses and temptation and causing destruct destruction within their life i feel like this energy is losing themselves if not already lost because there's a lot of toxic behaviors things are shattering around them they're destroying everything by their own actions their own ways Someone should have stood up for the connection instead of playing the victim. There are also innocent involved here and someone is completely guilty. This energy is guilty of prowling, being avoided, not being realistic about you or life. I feel this energy is not making logical decisions. They're not questioning the pros and the cons. This energy has no voice of reason. They're just arrogant. And there's a lot of unfinished business because of their insecurities. This energy has a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets attached to their deceits. I feel many of you already see the red, red flags of this, and this is why things are stagnated. Things are not moving, because this energy is selfish and greedy, always thinking of self. There's a lot of trust issues here, where many of you are very suspicious about creating a friendship with this energy, because this energy knows that you don't want to move fast. This energy knows that you don't respect their energy. Or the fact that they have lost their identity within a situation. Because it's hard to even know who this person truly is. Because they have never really spoken any facts. They just become who they believe you want them to be. Now they're acting cold. Pretending they don't have feelings for you when they know they don't. I feel like this energy has been inconsistent. Causing an ending. But I feel they could be under pressure when it comes to... The direction they have chose or the fact that they have given no effort in this situation but something is fated to happen because of their toxic ways this energy could be in hermit mode or this energy could be at a distance being hot and cold with you just to control something with you i feel this energy is trying to control a situation by not giving an apology or giving some type of false an apology because they want validation this energy wants validation this energy is very needy for attention and they know that you can affirm them. This energy knows that you're very giving. They need that energy. Someone is trying to control something. Hmm. Attached to some type of recognition, approval. Someone wants their ego to be stroked. And they're banking on you being undecided about dealing with them. This energy feels like you're going to be undecided. And you're going to give in to temptation. You're going to ignore the signs when it comes to their player ways. But I feel you have more value than that. You're standing on truth. You're standing on facts. And this energy is hopefully hoping that you have some type of interest in doing this again. Or seeing if they've changed. This energy is holding out for doubt. This energy feels like you're going to be stuck in a space of curiosity. This energy is going to tell you everything that they believe you want to hear just to get you to put your guard down. But as I said before, this energy is just going to switch up on you again. This energy is very unreliable, especially when it comes to relationships, because you're not the only one they burned with these mind games. I feel this energy being attached, attached to these dark ways are only going to bring a deep sense of regret of a sense of regret from you moving on wow 
So for some of you, this energy is definitely at a distance. This energy is still trying to bait you in, wanting you to believe that they have changed, but nothing has changed but the mind games. I feel this energy is still avoidant, arrogant, and still prowling. Still prowling while they are behind the mask. This energy is hoping that time keeps you attached. Curiosity. This energy is wanting to bait you in. Someone wants to bait you in. They feel like they got the game down. I feel like this is someone who is very manipulative, full of control, never satisfied. I feel this is someone who, who is hard to please emotionally. Home is not a home when dealing with this energy, especially when it comes to trust issues. This energy is coming out as a smooth talker. I feel this is someone who is trying to clean something up when it comes to a competition or the fact that they tried to throw something away as if it meant nothing to them. This energy is avoiding a conversation. I feel this energy is coming out as a smooth talker who is wanting to clean something up when it comes to a difficult choice. They feel like they were caught between the two. Wow. This is why they are immature and, and avoiding something with you. But it's only creating more trust issues. Because this energy was never following their heart. They just let the mind lead whatever, wherever it, it wants to. This energy is leaving something to the imagination. I feel this energy thought that they were fooling you and someone else. But I feel something has been stalled because you're fed up. This energy sees that you're no longer seeing something the same. Or the vibe has changed and they're exhausted by that. They feel like something is too much. They made too many sacrifices. Because they chose convenience over heart. I feel this energy walked away and created a lot of sacrifice in their life. This energy sacrificed a lot of things and this is why they're losing. This energy is trying to play dumb. This energy is playing dumb to the fact that they are manipulating and twisting the facts in everything. I feel this energy was manipulating things because they felt like you couldn't prove it. This is why there is no apology, there is no clarity, because of this energy's sneaky behaviors. I feel this energy pulled a sneaky situation or disappearing act. Wow, that they are now going to regret. Someone's regretting the fact that something has stolen with you because of half truths. But I feel this energy thought that they were lying to save something. They didn't want to lose you forever. Someone wants you to be a part of the stash or the collection. Thinking everyone wins. But I feel something unexpected is about to bring them to a state of desperation. Thinking you are playing hard to get. They just might be too late. Because this has been a very long journey for you. And seeing as though this energy is coming out as a twin flame, you've already learned their lesson. And I don't believe you're going to forget it. I feel you've tried your best to compromise in a situation where someone thought that they were playing the field or they knew what was best. But I feel this energy is really not serious about anything in life. Not ready to commit. This energy is still stuck in a space of fear when it comes to affairs of the heart. However, there will be divine intervention for someone who kept you waiting and is not using protection. I feel this energy is completely guarded yet longing for you, wanting to string you along with this heart to heart. Some type of heartfelt confession or trying to tell you what you want to hear just so that you will reconcile but I feel this energy is still keeping something in the dark this energy is still not letting something out I feel this energy is hiding something that is needing to be spoken this energy needs to go through some type of deep personal transformation especially when it comes to boundaries truth facts because they always get caught up I feel like this energy got caught red-handed. They had no answers, and this is why they're separated from you. I feel rejection has always been your protection because this energy is stuck in some type of false reality and illusion that's caused many of you to just follow your heart. I feel this energy is being hot and cold because of influences, karmic energies, or even their friends 
Family, please take it how it resonates, but I feel this energy is now questioning everything. This energy has been lost in this false energy for quite some time where they're going back and forth wanting to love bomb you, but I feel you're stepping into a space where you're worried about yourself, your own foundation, self-care. You're tuning into self, you're tuning into your own wants, your own needs. All this energy is still trying to clean up a very, very messy situation. Someone walked away from you with no clarity. Now they're exhausted from the sacrifices that they have made. But I also feel you never know what you're getting with this energy. And for many of you, it feels like you don't know them at all. I sense in many ways this drastic change in their character somehow had you attached. But I feel it was only because you have a huge heart. I feel for many of you, you were hoping for more. Or just for them to do better because they've already shown you they were capable but it was all a front. It was all a lie. They became what you needed them to be. So you feel connected and willing to compromise. It's almost like dealing with someone who has split personalities. A split, a split personality of Jekyll and Hyde. Never knowing what to expect because you're always getting a different version of them. Dr. Jekyll being the worst. And Mr. Hyde, the one who is charismatic, all into you, wanting you to believe their lies. Yet I sense anything or anyone who is caught up or attached to them has been caught up in a vicious cycle because of their toxic ways. As this energy is not above distancing themselves to get a reaction or punish you for seeing the truth. Not realizing their actions are the reason things will never be the same again. As they believe not acknowledging what they've done is the same as never doing it or something never happening. Which is definitely not the case. Because many of you will never forget what they've done. Yet I sense many of you are no longer putting up with this. Yeah, someone needs to go through a transformation. For you to ever even think twice. But I feel for many of you. You have already walked away. I feel you have already walked away. Ending some type of cycle that has become very messy. Many of you are no longer putting up with a half hearted effort. It's a wrap. Things may never be the same again. As the trust that was broken. And the respect that was lost. Takes years to build. Yet, seconds to break. And in many cases, in many cases, it may take forever to repair. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.